powder. I've never done this before. Oh, nice. Wow. Let oh, us know how it turns out. I will. All right. I am impressed. <laughs> so am I, man. That is good. That is good. So scripture and That's prayer. Woohoo. Um, so we got Johnny Terrell, Marion, Nelson, Lanita, Teresa, and Larry. And um, who else? Other prayer requests. Um, Lois, how's your sister? Is Lois on? Is that Lois on with us? No, she had a thing went to voicemail. I'll call her back in a minute or so. Uh -huh. But um, no, she. What about the how are the, how is Brother Duncan and um, also Sister Walker? I Brother Duncan, I talked to Betty about a week or so ago, and um, you know he's he you know he's. He's doing okay for how he is, but yeah. you know, just really, really missing that interaction with the church. He's having a really hard time with that. Yeah. And Sister Walker, she's, you know, she said she has her good days and her bad days. So she's, you know, okay. And she will she will call and talk. She'll talk to you forever. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so she she's you know, she still has her spirit. But I can tell she's tired, but she's really, you know, really, really, you know, just such a good, positive person. She always has something good. Yeah. Yeah. I, wonder, I don't know what the situation is with her, with her granddaughter, um, Lynn. Oh, you know, I forgot to even ask. No, I don't. I forgot. I was going to ask you what uh, they wanted to bring him to the outdoor services i wonder why they're not bringing him yeah Is i don't know what happened that, yeah and i don't know why i make sure it. valerie knows and the caretaker knows so that they can arrange to have him there but they you know maybe it's just not you know they don't feel it's safe yet which i get but we'll have no, I, I think that, i don't think they feel that i think it's just you know, getting caregivers or caretakers to be able to be available to bring them and stuff. Mm -hmm. but I don't think it's so much that. And we, and we need to make sure, do, does everybody know, make sure that we're reaching out and letting people know which Sundays and all, and all of that. Yeah, the next one will be on Mother's Day. So uh, we're going to yeah. have two a month until at least through September that we know of, so. Um, somebody made, I think it was maybe Honor made a uh, recommendation, and it could have been something that you had said, said uh, Maria, to emails would be something to do to be able to, uh, you may not have the emails of everybody, but an email because people may not be coming on, you know, face, Facebook or, mm -hmm. or uh, uh, YouTube Dude. to hear the announcements. So if they get a blast, an email blast, that might also help in passing out the word of when the, ser you know, when the ser services will be in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. okay. An email blast. I'm, I'm thinking also maybe a phone tree. That was a suggestion, I think, um, that someone made because of the, we, because we don't know. Like I know, for example, my sister, she won't text and she's not on email. Okay. And if we, if we, I so mean, we can't I would be willing to call. I mean, I could, I could, we would be willing to call a few people or to call. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, to we make need sure. That because we okay. can't, we're all, we're just down to three. Oh, I know. Three, yeah. yeah. So if anybody would, you know, that would be great. That would be so helpful. Yeah. Well, maybe you can, what does I say? Email a couple of Sure. Phone, numbers. So, phone numbers for us to call and okay. see. Have Maybe them. what I'll do also is um, is type up a, a list of all of the outdoor services through September and send mm -hmm. it to the board. That mm -hmm. way, each, and then just ask each person in the board to call and Thanks tell people. Yeah. yeah. 
if they go on that on the board, I don't mind making some calls. No, <laughs> no that's okay. Hey, the you board, have like our, per, the our board. <laughs> our, you have a connection. Our Bible study ladies, that's right. our Bible study ladies, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. A direct connection to the board member. <laughs> yeah, you call one person and tell them to call a couple of their friends, and you know you got it going. Yeah, just to let people know. Tell mm -hmm. them pretend it's gossip. Pretend it's true. Yeah, gossip. gossip <laughs> that'll <laughs> spread it's like a girl. wildfire. I know. Yeah. So the girl, don't you don't tell nobody. <laughs> don't tell we gonna be meeting. We gonna be meeting. <laughs> oh my that goodness! Is, yeah. <laughs> All right, who's got scripture? Who's got prayer? <laughs> crickets. I think I just heard crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember okay. everybody you said on the prayer list. <laughs> but no, I didn't okay. write it down, totally but I will just. What, whoever doesn't get mentioned, I me I'll mention them at the end. I can do a general prayer. <laughs> there you go. General's good too. Prayer is prayer. Yeah. Okay, well, who has scripture then? <laughs> Why do we do well, this? Well, I will, I will do, um, let's see. Psalm uh, 9. Okay. Uh, verses, let's see. I, I don't think I'll read the whole. Verses 1 through um, one through 10. Okay. It says, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When my enemies, mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou sayest in the throne judging right. Thou, um, thou saddest, I'm sorry, in the throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, and thou hast put out their name forever and ever. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed and a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. So I read to you verses 1 through 10 of um, the ninth chapter of Psalm. And may God bless the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. Hi, Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening, you know, first of all, just giving thanks to who you are and what you have done for us, I Heavenly Father. We just want to pray as we go through this lesson of Ephesians that you will open our eyes and our hearts and just show us what you want us to know. We pray that whatever we take, we're able to give back to those that are around us so that we'll be able to share your word. Lord, we come now asking that you look upon our group and we pray that something that we say in this group will be able to help and encourage others that are around us. We want to come first. We want to pray for Sister Teresa and her son. I Heavenly Father, I know it's not an easy task on what they have to go through, but Lord, I know that you are with them and that you will up them. We just ask you to continually be in their light and lead them so that they will be able to go through whatever what they have to go through. And we just pray that people that are surrounding them will be able to uplift them and encourage them. And so, Lord, we just want to thank you in advance for that. We want to look at Sister Harriet and pray for her family and just strengthen, you know, her members and her family and keep them close. Our Heavenly Father, let them know that you are with them 
in that you are there to encourage and to be strong. Heavenly Father, Sister Harry has been a faithful member and a true believer in your word. So Heavenly Father, we just ask you to put your arms around her and uplift her and strengthen her so that she can be the strength of her family as she goes forth. Lord, we want to look at, you know, uh, Maria and her family. We just ask you to bless them. And, you know, and her daughter, who, you know, is such a sweet child, well, woman. And, you know, just bless her and, you know, keep her close to you and keep her safe as she goes to and from her job. And we just want to pray for that. And we want to pray for Sister Michelle and her mother Thank that you. you continually, you know, strengthen her and, you know, just let her know, Lord, that you're with her. Take away any doubt or any loneliness that she may feel. Yes. And we just want to encourage her, Heavenly Father. And then, Lord, we want to pray for Sister Lanita, that you will strengthen her in times that she's going through. Let her know, Lord, that she is loved by you and that she has support that people who do care about her. So, Lord, we just touch parts of her body. We know that she had a fall, but we just want to, you know, ask you to just come in, touch her and heal her and let her know that you are Lord. We want to also pray for our pastor and his family. In times like this, we know that it's really hard, and he still has so much that's on his plate. We want to pray for Jim and the rest of the staff, Lord, that you will, you know, guide them and uplift them and keep them strong in your word. In times like this, you know, they said we need a Savior, and to be very sure your anchor holds. So Lord, this is what our prayer is. We want our anchor to hold. We want to be strong in your word and grow in your grace. I ask you to pray for our church, the congregation, all the people who have been sick that we mentioned before. You know, Sister Walker, we ask you to strengthen her and her son. We want to pray for Brother Duncan and his family that they will be encouraged as they go forth. And we want to pray for, you know, those who I have not mentioned, Lord, that you will continue to look upon them and bless them. And Lord, look upon my family and bless them and, you know, keep them close and let them know, Lord, that you are Lord. So all these things, and, oh, my sister, Lord, I just want to pray for her that you will be able, her stomach will improve and she will be able to, you know, feel better. And I pray that she's able to come up and visit for Mother's Day. So that's my prayer, Heavenly Father. So all these things we ask in our son's name and for your sake, do we pray? Amen. 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 Woo, thank you for that. <laughs> thank the Lord. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. He's good. Oh, yes. Son. Okay, here we go. So to the praise of his glory. Read Ephesians 1, 3, to 3 through 23, our focus for the rest of the week. So the rest of the week is this, probably for the next two or three weeks. <laughs> and it says circle every time Paul writes to the praise of his glory. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, all right, and then we'll go into that. So... Um, I don't mind reading it if you want. I'm not going to, I mean, we can pretty much hear when he says to the praise of his glory, but mm -hmm. I'll read it out of the book and then we can go into, um, the questions and things. Mm -hmm. All right. Ephesians 1, 3 through 23. Blessed is is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ. For he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we may be holy and unblemished in his sight in love. He did this by predestining us to adoption as his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the pleasure of his will. To the praise of his glory, there's one, of his grace that he has freely bestowed on us in his dearly loved son in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace 
that he lavished on us in all wisdom and insight. He did this when he revealed to us the secret of his will according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ toward the administration of the fullness of the times to head up all things in Christ, the things in heaven and the things on earth. In Christ, we too have been claimed as God's own possession since we were predestined according to the one purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to the counsel of his will so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, would be to the praise of his glory, too. And when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, when you believed in Christ, you were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit, who is the down payment of our inheritance until the redemption of God's own possession, to the praise of his glory. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you when I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you spiritual wisdom and revelation in your growing knowledge of him, since the eyes of your heart have been enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what is the wealth of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the incomparable greatness of his power toward us who believe, as displayed in the exercise of his immense strength. This power he exercised in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above every rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And God put all things under Christ's feet and he gave him to the church as head over all things. Now the church is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Whew. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, amen, amen. I'm telling you. So I think that was three times. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I see about yep. that. Okay. About that many. So then number two says, consider what this means. Blessed is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ. Verse three. Often when well, does someone else want to read? <laughs> Starting here. Can you even see that? Is it big enough? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read, read Michelle. <laughs> I'm going read. Michelle. <laughs> Starting with often. Okay. All right. Often when we give thanks, we recall physical or relational blessings. But here we pause to consider that God has given his children every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ. Not a few blessings, but every blessing. The list is astonishing. If we were to make a list of the most fantastic things that could happen to us, it would not exceed this one. What has God blessed us with? Access to spiritual wisdom and revelation in our growing knowledge of him, Check. An inheritance as co-heir with Christ himself? Check. Access to the resurrected Christ seated at the Father's right hand in this age and the one to come? Check. Redemption for and forgiveness of sins? Check. Status as God's chosen ones that we may be holy and unblemished in his sight in love? Check predestined to adoption into his family? Check. The object mm -hmm. of grace freely bestowed in his dearly loved son? Check. Redemption through Christ's blood for the forgiveness of all trespasses? Check. <laughs> Declared God's own <laughs> possession? Check. God himself in the person of the Holy Spirit living in mm -hmm. us to empower us comfort us, and help us become loving like him? Check. 
check, check. Uh, check. Wow. Wow. Good. That's a lot of stuff there. That's a lot. That's yes, it a is. Lot. It wow. reminds me when Pastor was talking about when we were in the parking lot for that last service that we have everything, you know, we, we have mm -hmm. it all. It's all there. We have it. We just have to live in it and walk in it. But everything we need for what we needed, we got it. Mm -hmm. Right when God we be came, the glory, wasn't that the title? That was the title mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. God be the, be the glory. That's right. And all of it's, that is for God's glory. This was really good, the, the way they laid it down. Because, you know, you look at it and it says, what has God blessed you with? And I went and started thinking, oh, my family and this and that. But, you know, it brings you back. No, mm -hmm. this is the true blessing of what he blessed you with. You know, because yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about all the other stuff. Yeah, you blessed yeah. me. Oh, yeah. I have a car. I have this. Yeah. That's right, Alicia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I really yeah. like that part. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah, all that before all those things that we all tend to think things. about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We think of a lot of temporal things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We really do. You know, and it's really hard sometimes to get out of that mainframe, you know, of yeah. of that temporal thinking, you know, because right. you think about how it affects me. And, you know, we had other lessons on how we are really selfish and you know, it, mm -hmm. how does this benefit me and, you know, something yeah. like that. And, you know, no matter how much you try, you know, it's going to be there. We're going to have to always, you know, fight against that and struggle with that. It is. It's hard. It is. it is. Even down to prayer, a lot of times people, it's you true. know, tend to, to focus on themselves and pray about their needs and they don't go yeah. beyond that because they can't get out of what they're worried about or thinking about or need and it's like you know god may have you there for a reason there's you know you have yeah. to come outside of that trust god and then pray for other people even for their salvation if you don't know what to pray you yeah. know to pray for people that don't have it mm -hmm. yeah Look at all they're missing out on, you know, look yeah. at what Michelle just read, just that alone. Yeah. Dozen things going on there. When you think you don't have anything to thank God for, boy, let me tell you, I've never thought that, but. Well, I think sometimes we forget, you mm -hmm. know, right. we, we, yeah. we kind of forget yeah. about that. So I, this is definitely a reminder. Uh-huh. Mm. Right. All those blessings. Wow. And blessings too for the, you know, I always think that sometimes we learn more, not sometimes, usually we learn more in our failures than we do in our successes. Mm -hmm. And so to thank him for the challenges that he puts in front of us, because those are the times that we really do, I think, come get closer to him and and learn what it is we're supposed to learn right mm -hmm. right hard to and do trust. That's true. yeah i was listening to um i was part of a, a leadership conference over the weekend and this one speaker was talking about um about uh the strengths and your weakness or you know to um to thank god and trust him even in your strengths not just your weaknesses but trust him in your strengths as well and he was talking about how years ago when he was a pastor um, they invited him to um you know come and 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 preach at this college for these kids that were um that wanted to be pastors or something. I don't remember exactly, but he had it all set. He, he did this beautiful uh, sermon and he was going to preach it. And he went there and he was like, you know, it was going to be like 20,000 kids or something, you know, young wow. adults. And he said up until an hour before he said, all of a sudden God spoke to him and said, 
Um, and this guy, he's a guru in leadership and, 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 you know, was a pastor for 25 years, whatever. And God said, uh, you're, you're not going to preach that. I don't want you to preach that. And he said, you know, he goes, instead of just trusting God and saying, okay, you know, because he compared it to um, a passage in Luke when Peter, you know, when they had been fishing all night and then here comes Jesus and says, you know, um, I want you to go take this net. I want you to throw it over this side, you know, cast it over here. And, and mm -hmm. that. And Peter kind of goes, uh, well, we were just fishing all night, but if you say so, you know, <laughs> and he says, here, this guy, you know, he was a fisherman, but you know, when Jesus told him that he kind of, he goes kind of like, you know, he did when he, he goes, well, you know, God, this kind of is my strength. So I think I know. <laughs> you know, kind of questioning God even in his strength. Yeah. And so, and he was comparing it to Peter kind of doing the same thing. Like, well, we were fishing all night. We didn't catch anything. But if you say so, we'll give it a shot. Say so. you know? yeah. And then he, you know, humbled him and it was like, oh my gosh, who am I questioning? You know? Mm -hmm. That's and, right. um, you know, so he was, he was saying how God said, no, I just want you, I've already prepared their hearts. They're ready for the ministry. Yes. They're ready to, yeah. to come in and do this. All you mm -hmm. need to tell them is God told me you were ready and I just need to step out of the way. He goes, do you think I did that? No. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he said, I went in there. He said, the first thing that happened was he goes, cause I just needed them to hear this. And he says, the first thing that happened was something was going on with the lighting. And he said, I couldn't see. I my couldn't notes. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't <laughs> see. He goes, and then, he yeah. said, so, you know, I, I fixed it. And then I, you know, had it. I was going to read it. He goes, I started doing it. He said, all of a sudden, I couldn't focus. My mind was all over. I started tripping over my words and stuttering. I couldn't get it out. And he said, finally, he surrendered and he said, oh, okay. they're all looking at him like, what is going on? <laughs> and he goes, like, Listen. okay, yeah. He said, I have to apologize. He said, I'm not supposed to give you this sermon. I'm not supposed to say this to you. God spoke to me and he goes, and I have to apologize because I did not obey God. And he mm. said, this is what God told me. I am to step out of the way. And so you know, after that, you know, all these, you know, thousands of, of young men came through and, and it was like, you know, we just, we tend to do that. Like, you know, yes, we have our strengths, but there's always room for, you know, some kind of teaching <laughs> yeah. or improvement. But he said, you know, he goes, uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing, God. This is a strength <laughs> of mine, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got, I got boy, this. do we I do that, this. don't we? Yeah. I've been guilty of that too. Like, you know, I, I think I got this. <laughs> He's like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh my that God. is so true. But yeah, that is trust very true. in our strengths. Yeah, and so I just, I, I really, truly enjoyed that talk. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. We do. What kind of conference was it? It was, um, it was a spring leadership <clears throat> conference thing. It was, it was for something else. It wasn't about the church, but um, one of the speakers involved in it um, was John Maxwell, and he was the one telling that story. And so um, it was a bunch of different leaders, and it's, it was over the weekend, and so you had to pay, and, um, you know, and then you had access to all these different speakers that were coming on and so I really love it because I love stuff about leadership and there's always and I love John Maxwell and so um yeah it was just and and it's gone I mean once once it was done you it wasn't like on YouTube or anything like that it was a special stream it was, thing that yeah they did. And mm -hmm. once it's gone it's gone mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. but I took oh, lots wow. of notes and um yeah it was just it was really it was really good. It was very, you know, it was kind of really neat. Mm. But. Seemed like it was. 
Oh my gosh, it was so many different kinds of leadership people speaking. And so you get all these different little nuggets um, from them. And a lot of them were Christian. So you get that, that godly aspect of it too, which was really cool. So yeah. okay, number one, ever wonder why God has placed humans on the planet? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this passage helps answer the question, why am I here or what is my purpose? What does Paul's repetition of the phrase to the praise of his glory suggest is the ultimate end or purpose for which God has placed you and all humans on earth? And, you know, it's funny, I was looking back at what I wrote when I don't remember going through this book. <laughs> <laughs> and I put to glorify him in all we do. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. I That's guess good. I wasn't feeling like I needed to elaborate on that because those are the only words that are on there. Well, they only gave you, to, in my defense, they only gave you one line to answer. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, but that that's true though. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean I actually agree with my answer, yeah. even, however long that's that right. was. So that really says it in 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 everything. It's it's just like when they go through and talk about the all that he's given us and and inheritance. And I like that the the part where they kept repeating the check and uh -huh. then this and check yeah. and, and mm -hmm. just any number of things he's given he's given to us. So mm -hmm. all of all of those things. And, and uh, for that, we're to, um, for all of those things, to the praise of his glory, mm -hmm. right? everything. And he made us for his delight, you know? Yes. I don't know why, like like uh, Andre, I don't know why Jesus <laughs> his delight, you know? Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, when you look at it, that should be, be the reason why we you know we breathe and have our have our existence is to just thank you lord and whatever whatever we can do to please you let let me be that you know mm -hmm. but it's for his own delight and pleasure and to glorify him you're right yeah in everything we do and all you know yeah um and to spread you know, the good news, of course, make fishers of men and mm -hmm. all that. But when he's saying to the praise of his glory, to me, that was Worship. to glorify him and all. Yeah. yeah. All right. Go back to Monday of this week. <laughs> yesterday. Oh, no, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where you underlined all the things God has done for those who have believed. We did? Mm -hmm. Did that? Oh, yeah. Monday. Hold on. Monday was weeks ago. Monday. Oh, yeah. Go that, back to Monday. That's like that page Oh, that's three. That back. Yeah. Who am I? Why am I here? Of the oh, book. look at that. I did highlight all of it. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> There's a lot of them in there. I did anyway. too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, go figure. Blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. Oh, that's where she got all that. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that the list that we yeah. would check? check yeah. it? I oh. think so. Mm. Read each one. We did. Let them whisper to you who you really are. The book of Ephesians outlines your truest identity if you are a believer in Christ. Well, that is very true. And I think we, and I, you know, I think we're good. <laughs> I don't think we need to read that list again. That was pretty impactful. Mm -hmm. you know, that yeah, was a pretty comprehensive list. It really was. So I think um, it is astonishing. The list, mm -hmm. what she said, the list is astonishing. It really, really is. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think the next one was about, think of additional blessings God has given you that have nurtured you in your spiritual life. List some of them here. 
excuse me. Before we go on to that, I think having that list should, whenever you want to get into, you know, a pity me, pity me kind of mm -hmm. uh, mode mm -hmm. and oh, things are just so bad. You need to read that list and say, wait a minute, you know, mm -hmm. look, look, look at what's going on here, you know, and then that should snap us out and bring us out of the doldrums of thinking that anything is, you know, that, that what am I, you know, why am I even here? Everything always happens to me. Why does it, mm -hmm. that, reading that list should start to embolden us to feel like, Oh, no, no, no. If God feels this way about me, hey, you know, mm -hmm. that, means, that means all is good. He's yeah. got mm -hmm. I to argue with him, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, that's how I would take that list to kind of get me and snap me out of, of feeling any kind of pity or that I'm in such a worse state of affairs, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Because for some people unfortunately and i know a lot of people like this i call them energy vampires but a lot of people's actual <laughs> strength is feeling sorry for themselves mm -hmm. and always complaining always being upset always finding the negative in every situation and a lot of times that is where their strength lies and that is so backwards and it's so sad and it's like they just they don't even want to think about you know, um, finding the good or finding the positive or being grateful for, you know, just even being here. For, yeah. You know, and sometimes I understand that, but there, there are those that are just, you know, determined to be that way, no matter what you say. And that's, those are the mm -hmm. kind of people I cannot be around. I just, I end up having to just distance myself because I'm like, you know, it's so, overwhelming you know that nothing i say or do or you know and it just kind of goes against everything that i believe like i i get being upset but it's like wow can't you even see you know can you you know you can try to say something for them you know but they don't it's like they just they want to stay in that um that frame of mind. I call it marinating. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. just want to marinate. And it's like, God, don't marinate. Just, you know, visit it for a minute, but then get past it. You know, mm -hmm. I don't understand. It's like, ah. But um, I don't know. It just... That's what's declared in his word. And his word is true. Mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. it's not just positive thinking. It's, the, it's true. His word is truth. And that's, that's what we can keep declaring. And make <laughs> make that flesh believe <laughs> believe that in your yeah. spirit to believe it. You know, there was, um, and this is even you know it, it it's you see it too in a, in in Christians. I mean, it's not just people that aren't believers; it's believers as well because their faith is not strong. You know, and so they get caught up in that why me kind of thinking and and they're like you know i've you know i've prayed and i've done this and i've done that and and things just keep happening and i can't take it anymore and you know i had um she's kind of a friend kind of not um, <laughs> i just didn't know her very well let me put it that way but you know i know that she um you know she was a christian and we've prayed together and i've i've been to her house and you know, she's like, oh, let's just pray. Let me pray for you. And I'm like, wow, awesome. Great. You know, and then things happened within her family. She started getting really tested because the, the stronger her faith God, of course, is with all of us, right. you're going to get tested and um, your faith is going to be tested. And, you know, for her, um, you know, things were happening with her children, things were happening with her home, her business, her husband, you know, and it's like, she was highlighting these things online. And I'm thinking, I could see the progression of her faith kind of dwindling. Mm. And then about, a, I'd say about a month ago, maybe. And I, you know, I'd text her all the time or try to call her, hey, how are you doing? Oh, well, this, this, and this is happening. She'd hit with all the negativity. 
And I'm like, well, listen, you know, I'd start talking about God and about, you know, and prayer and this and that and try to highlight the positive and then she would just not respond. Mm -hmm. And as she was posting these things online, it was almost like she wanted her negativity validated. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She wasn't going with the positive godly answers and about, you know, keep, you know, your faith, don't lose your faith. She was more wanting to go with, you know, oh, please validate my negativity and, you know, to where eventually one day she made this long post and basically denounced Christ and said, you know, mm. for a long time I've prayed and I've done this and I've done that. And, you know, uh, I just don't even feel God's presence anymore and this and that. And I get it. We've all kind of been there, but she went that extra step and said, I don't know what I believe anymore. I don't want to hear any lectures. I've decided to leave the church. Um, you know, don't pray for me. I'm done with prayer. And just all of this. And I'm like, wow. So your, your faith was never that strong to begin with. And so, you know, maybe that's why God, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not judging. And we've all. Well, Sometimes, you know, you go, people go through that and they don't realize that what they're going through is a blessing and God is showing them mm -hmm. that we're not opening up our eyes in order to see it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you know, we just consider it as being something really bad. But if we were to step back, we could say, wait a minute, this happened because God wanted me to do X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. So That's it's too right. bad. And that she had been, yeah, complaining a lot. And it's like, well, I've been praying and I've been trusting God. And I've been, it's like, no, you haven't. I've seen your progression. Yeah. You've been highlighting it. You come on and, and complain and you say, I'm so depressed and I'm so this and I'm so that. And it's like, you know, sometimes you have to you have to help people see that you know we have an enemy and he is mm -hmm. definitely yeah. you know he's mm -hmm. he's trying to turn you away and you've got you've got to understand and see that for what it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, these things are happening because you are being oppressed by that enemy, but you do have his spirit, God's spirit. Yeah. And you're going to have to start using that on the offensive. You know, mm -hmm. call a spade a spade. Yes, you're being attacked and you are, right? He wants, he wants to tear you down. Mm -hmm. But you want to stand your ground and say, no, you won't. Mm -hmm. You know, right. So um, she, you know, she just, and I understand what you're saying. She just rejected everything. But mm -hmm. you get enough people giving you pep talks and saying, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You may just say, all right, all right, all right, you guys. And you mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's crazy because she got hundreds of responses and likes and people just saying, oh, you are the bravest, most courageous. I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> that is so brave to say that. I'm like, I do not want to be anywhere around you right now. <laughs> You know, and it was just, you know, people are like, oh, this and that about the church and, and blah. And I'm like, it's not about the church. The church didn't do mm -hmm. that to you. That's mm -hmm. not, you know, and that, and that's how hypocritical, you know, it all is and this and that. And I'm like, oh my. And she's like, oh, thank you. Thank you. And I'm thinking, <laughs> oh Lord, what is happening right now? <laughs> that was your test. Yeah, right. I was like, oh my, and I prayed for her, man. I, I did. I shed a few that, that tears. I'm like, oh no, you know, and I just started to pray for her. And I'm like, don't, don't tell me not to be Christian, you know, mm -hmm. don't pray for me. Don't lecture me. Don't tell me that God's here and I need, oh, okay. <laughs> Well, one thing you know, you can't. She can't stop you from praying for her. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. And that would would have been the best thing. You know, can't reach her with all of that positivity and helping her mm -hmm. through that. Your prayers would do the best thing that she would need at that point. 
And yeah. you know, it was funny because, well, not funny, it was kind of sad. She had started a GoFundMe for, um, for uh, something for one of her children. It was like a, um, like a, some kind of special service dog that was going to help with what, you know, one of her kids was going through, but it was like $8,000. Well, a week before she posted this, they hit their goal. They got the money for this. And she was praising God for it. And I'm like, <laughs> understand. Yeah. Well, Where do a, you think that came from? <laughs> I know. But anyway, we praise God. We give God the praise when something goes our way. Exactly. And if it, and if it doesn't, we still blame him. It's his fault. I did this and why? Yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Wow. I know it's just crazy, but yeah, anyway, so think of additional blessings. I'm sure that we can do that. I don't think we need to list them, but my goodness, even those things that we started to think of, we don't think of them as additional blessings mm -hmm. in comparison to what Michelle read earlier about, you know, the actual, yeah, but mm -hmm. the things that we start thinking of right away, our homes, our families, those are additional Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we don't think of them as additional. Those are the first oh. things that come to our minds. Right. right, right. So this is I'm I'm glad for the um yeah the clarity on that and just the you know that they put it in that way. Like it's it's not just about what you have, like what he gives us. Yeah. What he blesses us with is, is a lot of times something apparently our minds can't even fathom because it doesn't come to our mind like that right away. Not that we're not grateful. Yeah. We just mm -hmm. don't think of it that way, you know, but when it's out like that and she's, you know, that check, 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 it was like, Ooh, <laughs> didn't think about that one. <laughs> well, I think there's a couple of things that I think of. One is that when we can be under, um, the tutelage of good, strong teachers, mm -hmm. you know, people who uh, teach us and help us learn through, uh, you know, the Bible, like our pastor and other teachers that have that we've been blessed to to have for their for their understanding and knowledge of the mm -hmm. Bible. That's a that's a blessing that has nurtured my spiritual life, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so those that I've had in person. And those that I've heard, like you said, in conferences and, right. they, and then those that have written publications and things, those have been things to nurture, mm -hmm. nurture my spiritual life. It's, I think it's so to become so much more intense since COVID. And I'm grateful for that because mm -hmm. Now our Bible studies are, are all right there for everyone to see where, you know, you'd have a handful of people on a Wednesday night or a Friday night here when it was here and people saying, you know, oh, I'm working, I'm this, I'm that. And now they can watch it. They can go on. They can, you know, watch it later if they are working. Mm -hmm. And so, um, no excuse. Yeah, all, you know, so many of us are getting fed. Like, this is what everyone was missing when they weren't able to come to Bible study, mm -hmm. you know, here. And so it's, and we've added so many. We've yeah. been able to add so many because of there's yeah. not any yeah. of the other activities yeah. going on. And so. Um, and also personal relationships with certain people have been a nourishment to my spiritual yes, life. Yes, well. ma'am, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Fill in the blank. <laughs> <laughs> Fill in the blank. I know. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I agree. Oh, thank I you, agree. thank you. Well, here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I was just no, waiting for it, you to I tell think, me that. Yeah, <laughs> it's caught. It's made us pause to. Yeah. to see what is really important yeah. and i think and i think people have had people including myself we, we've yeah. had time to think it's like okay mm -hmm. this is, we've had time to think about things 
mm -hmm. or to be, in my case, to be by myself. <laughs> and to, right? <laughs> you know, instead of going, going, oh, I got to go here, got to go, come yeah. home, get dressed, go out again, or come back and, you know, and busy, busy, busy. busy so, busy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's, mm -hmm. it's um, given most people a chance to, to just kind of be quiet. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, which, which we needed, which I needed. I'll speak for myself. Yeah. No, I think we all did. Yeah. I, I know I did. I know I did too. And then I think another aspect, I just am adding on to this stuff. Mm -hmm. Other things that have nurtured is when we do see God's hand through answered prayer in what we've needed. Mm -hmm. That, that mm -hmm. has been something to nurture our spiritual life and help us along to, because uh, we, have a his, we have a history and we can see God's hand in, in things for us. Yeah. Yeah. And the idea of be, be still and know that I am God, you know, just appreciating that. That's right. You know, you know yeah. yeah. Mm. Truth of listening for his voice and not just hearing our own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll do that in the mornings during like my devotion and prayer and I'll be going and going and then all of a sudden I'm losing focus and I'm like, you know, I probably should just shut up and listen <laughs> and, <laughs> because and God's listen. telling me, oh my goodness, enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I will and I'll, I'll just kind of, you know, sit there and, and take in you know, what God's trying to tell me, and, and uh, yeah. he's really the only one who can get me to shut up like that, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, um, and then these other ones, up until, I think we'll start with number six next week, but um, examine your life, ask the Spirit to show you areas where your thoughts and actions, whether things you have done or failed to do, keep him from receiving the praise and glory he deserves. And I think that's just when we forget, you know? <laughs> I, I could give you a list almost with all oh, that. sure. Check, check, check. One is my big mouth. My mouth. What, KP, what KP was talking about in, in his uh, message uh -oh. on Sunday a fire starter. Fire starter. Fire. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, my, my quick temper. Yeah. Sometimes. yeah that, not all that. the time. It's not as bad as it was. It, it tends to melt <laughs> out over the years. I hear you. But still there. It is yeah, still no. There. Yeah. Discouragement. I mean, you know, and again, sometimes our faith, like they say, you know, faith and fear can't live in the same body. And so sometimes yeah. that fear that I get that, you know, keeps me from receiving, from, you know, from giving him the praise and glory he deserves because mm -hmm. sometimes depending on what it is and in that quick moment it's like that fear creeps in and faith goes Psh, you know <laughs> and i have to go wait no come back mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah so that when i let fear kind of yeah kind of grab me worry fear whatever you know um instead of just especially when someone comes at me with a i need to talk to you like what what <laughs> <laughs> don't come at me like that <laughs> oh, it's, it's okay it's not a big deal i'm like okay you should have started with that <laughs> because now i gotta go chase faith i'll be right back <laughs> <sighs> that's funny oh all it's right. not easy sometimes. It's, it's not. not. It's, it's not. Easy. You know, or you know, it's like someone's about to tell you something, or you know, whatever it is, and it's like you get that anxiety feeling, and and you know, and and you just you forget right then that you know, no, I have to trust God. I have to be okay with no matter what 
is about to come at me right now. I have to be okay. And God's going to make it okay. And he's going to get me through. But in that quick moment, that does, that is not what comes to mind first. I mean, at least not for me. Um, And so I have to take a few minutes to be like, breathe and then be like, okay, I should probably pray right now. (laughs) And then be like, oh, wait a minute. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. write a short hymn, poem, or prayer of thanksgiving for the spiritual blessings God has lavished on you and for the life changing work of the Spirit in you. Consider loading an MP3 player with songs of thanksgiving. This tells you how old this book is. <laughs> I know. MP3. Hey, what is that? What, what, what? what is that? <laughs> Like what's an MP3 player? Like kids do when they see like a typewriter or something. I know, right? Like what is that? Like, what is that? <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh, I digress a little bit, but I, I won't go into it. But I was uh, came across a YouTube video of these parents who put a rotary phone in front of a kid and asked him to figure <laughs> out how to use it, and they did not figure they it out. <laughs> They're like pushing at it, and they're like, what is this? <laughs> it was funny. If you have a chance, go on. I mean, these kids were thoroughly confused and thought they had it figured out, and they're like, no, that's not it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I will. I will confess that sometimes when I go out to my backyard to do work, I have my my CD, my boombox. Yeah, plug in, <laughs> and I have CDs and I have some cassettes. Thank you very That's much. That's right. That's right. I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> right. I know, but I don't have any more. I don't have any more eight tracks. That's that's gone. Oh yeah, they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Davion asked me, I said, well, I should get a boom box. He said, what is a boom box? What is a boom box? <laughs> <laughs> but I do have, I have many albums. Yep, I got some of those I too. I still have those. Oh, they're bringing those back. I know. I know. They See, are. all you got to do is hold on to your stuff long enough. Live long right enough. Back around. <laughs> back around. You are it's so back. right. It's never coming back. <laughs> and, well it's funny my daughter my daughter goes oh i need a vinyl player i'm like a what yeah. <laughs> a record player for vinyls. Like, a vinyl yeah. player like those aren't vinyls those are records okay well, <laughs> call, them, call them lps 45 and 78 and they go, i know 78 lps 45 and, <laughs> and we'll have a clue no, they won't. You're absolutely oh, right. Oh, that is hilarious. Like, I didn't have a clue when she said, oh, my vinyls. I'm like, your what? Your what? <laughs> your vinyls. vinyls. <laughs> oh, okay. I love it. She's funny. Oh, well. All right. So we'll start there. May 4th, I guess, will be next Tuesday. Wow. Grief. Oh, my. I know. Oh. It wow. is going by. Ooh, it's going. Strong. We're going to be halfway through the year. We're going to be right? halfway through the year. That's right. So. Yeah. Yep. Woo. Woo. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. Well, awesome. Thank you, ladies. I know we got started a little late, so we're probably just at that hour mark anyway. Yeah. And, um, I'll just say a quick prayer and get us out of here. And so, yeah, I'll try and remember maybe if you shoot me a text about. Um, sending out a list of our um phone number uh that yes a list of the parking lot services through september yeah yeah that would be great okay that way people can can kind of plan their stuff around it i mean like i know mother's day father's day but there's some in between there that i'm forgetting so Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and not all of them will be first sundays and all that they're kind of random yeah so, okay. All right. Well, thank you. That was awesome. Gracious Heavenly enjoyed it. Father. Woo, huh? I enjoyed oh. it. Oh, yeah, thank you. Enjoyed it. It was it was good. Thank you. Yes. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you. Thank you once again for waking us up this morning and giving us our portion of health and strength. Thank you for just 
allowing us to see another day and just giving us another opportunity to praise and glorify you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you. We just ask forgiveness of our sins, those that we know of and those that we don't. And Lord, we just thank you for your grace and your mercy. And Lord, as always, I just thank you for this study. I thank you for all of us that are able to be present here and the hearts and minds of those that are here and of those who are watching and Lord, we just ask blessing upon all of us and, and our every family that's represented here, Lord. And we just thank you so much for, for this study and for your word and Lord, for reminding us of all those things and things that you have blessed us with that don't always come first thing to our mind, Lord, but they, they are in our soul, they are in our hearts and now they'll be at the forefront of our minds and Lord, we'll, we'll just try to remember to, to thank you for those things and remember that whenever we're feeling like you're not there or feeling like we're, we're just defeated, Lord, that we're not. We have the victory in you. And Lord, we continue to pray for Brother Johnny Terrell and Sister Marion Nelson for healing, Lord, and Sister Lenita, Teresa and Larry and that whole family, Lord. Lois, even though she wasn't able to be with us, Lord, we just ask that you continue to to put your hands of healing on her, Lord, and that your yes. your life giving power just flows right through her every cell in her body, Lord, and right down to her soul. And Lord, we uh, continue to pray for Deacon Duncan and that whole Duncan family, and Lord, just everyone out there that that needs prayer you know their wants you know their needs we just lift up all of our deacons and deaconesses all of our auxiliaries our staff our pastor pastors around the world our ministers and lord there's just so many prayer requests and so many needs and and lord we just lift them all up to you and and we just know that um you know, the enemy might mock our wisdom, but he trembles when we pray. So, Lord, we just continue to lift every prayer up to you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And we just, we pray for those that not only do not have salvation, but, Lord, do have it and lose their faith. And, you know, just forget who you are and forget whose they are. And, Lord, we just continue to pray for them and that you strengthen their faith and just you know, bring them right back to you. That's really what you want us to do, Lord, is you want us to, you know, turn around and remember you. We want to just remember also too to trust you in every way, every day. And, and that includes in our strengths, as we talked about, Lord, that, you know, we never forget where those strengths come from. And, and we just ask that you continue to strengthen us and, and give us that confidence in, in who you are made us to be and so lord as we leave here we just ask that you blanket us in your peace and keep love at that forefront of our minds and let that be the guiding light and all we set out to do we love you we honor we praise and worship you in jesus mighty name we pray amen and thank god amen 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 all right yes. all right you guys thank you ladies all right ladies there we are. <laughs> what happened <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit stop share. I meant to do that before. Oh. That's okay. Amen. Amen. Wait, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. I will uh, see two of you tomorrow. And okay. Harriet, we will see. What's the time again, Justin? Oh, 30. Pause this. Was it 1.30? 1.30.